Hi everyone, Idaho Amy here and I want to show you um, a couple projects I made with the new Heidi Swap Sugar Chick collection. I found it at my local Michaels and it's brand new. I really like it. Um, and it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I like to do a little bit more vintage, um, darker things. So um, I would love to hear some comments on it if you think I should stick to vintage stuff um, or if you like my take or try on um, using a different paper company because um, mostly I use Graphic 45 so um, anyway so here's my Heidi Swap mini album I did and um, this album I'm posting on eBay um, part of my eBay store that I do and all the photos in this album come out and um, can be slid back in if you like them or you can be taken out and add your own photos to them so I'm going to try and go through it really quick. Um, I'm not going to tell you um, every little thing on the page. Um, there's just, you know, some, most of, all the flowers are um, by Prima. And the buttons are, some are vintage, some are new, but look vintage. And then all these are from the uh, Michael's Dollar Bin. And um, pretty much all the paper is from this one stack of paper. So um, this tag here pulls out and has a room for photos. Um, and it's blank on the back and um, that's just a Tim Holtz um, black tag I love those and then here's the next two pages um, this page um, they pop off and you can just um, stick them back in if you want lots of room for photos um, this side, um, another photo just stuck here. Uh, I like the color of her dress. I thought it went well with it. Another tag, just plain on the back again. I used um, folk art acrylic paint for all the paint on here. Um, some of it I used a paintbrush, but for the most part, I used my finger because it's just quicker and less, it's just easier to wash your finger than it is a paintbrush. And I guess I'm you can call me lazy if you want to, but, um, <laughs> just, and it's also lots of fun. Um, anyway, more flowers, um, just some little photos stuck in, some tags. This one's just, uh, single-sided. Um, this one is actually, I cut out two pieces of the ephemera and backed them, put them back to back. Um, so they're double-sided. More room for photos. Um, here's a spacer photo. Um, pop this off just a little bit, and then more tags. This one's this a cutie on it. I really like that. Um, let's see. And that one slid out. Okay, and then this one, um, pretty simple. Room for photos here. More tags. These tags are really cute. Love how there's glitter on a lot of this. Um, and then this photo here just uh, slides right in or out, however you want. This is by Colorbox. I really um, like them too. Um, but they have really similar um, color palette right now. Um, the turquoise and yellow is pretty in right now. Um, so um, I just added that from the other collection because I had it left over from another project. And um, this page is just a pocket with another double sided tag. And uh, this one right here, I didn't do much to. Um, I like the word beautiful songs and I uh, thought a picture would go well here um, but this picture um, matched the colors really well so I just stuck it in there for fun and um, these have um, jewels on the brads and then this page I really liked um, I thought this lady was really pretty and then I got these uh, little flowers from Karen and uh, so that just comes out and then this is a tag here for some journaling, and you can do some more on the back. And there's a space there for a large photo. And here's a piece from the paper line. I stuck it there um, just for something different. Um, this is some of the um, strip um, that I cut apart and added to jute. Ugh, sorry, <laughs> added it to jute and uh, added a prima flower with some buttons in it and um, then the back is just plain pink so that's the album that I have for um, eBay 
Um, has lots of tags in it and everything. Hope hope you guys like that. Um, let me know what you think. And then I have this layout that I made. And um, let's see. That sorry about that. <laughs> Should always turn my phone on vibrate. And actually, that was my husband. Um, and I'll have to call him back. But um, I started with black cardstock and then just. Um, inked or, or painted around the edges with white and then I used some of the teal paper for the background and then spritzed it with um, some alcohol inks that I got from Audra Meal. Uh, she made some a while back and gave it to me as a rack. So thank you Audra and um, then I just used some of the pattern paper to go around the back of the photo. Um, I liked how the back of this bridge had that yellow in it so it kind of brought out the colors. Um, more pieces of the ephemera Here's the, here's a heart, and that was actually just a square tag, and I cut the heart out. And um, this bling here is by um, the Donna Salazar bling by Want to Scrap, and this is a vintage button that I had. So, um, just, and two halves of some different sizes of doilies. So, anyway, well, um, I did a lot of stitching on it too, and I hope you guys like it, and let me know what you think. Thanks, bye.